Welcome back guys, I trust you've been staying safe. The story of Nabiha and what happened to her, her father and her five sisters is a very chilling one. This case is still ongoing. It started some few days ago in January of 2024 and the details are very shocking. I don't understand how come all this can be happening in a country and this country still has various security agencies at play and supposed to be functioning. This is not me chastising them, but I feel that it is getting out of hand because this case is going side by side with another similar one, which would follow in my playlist after this video has come out. Now, Nabiha, her father, and her five sisters were in their own home. They were in their own residence in the Buari Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria in West Africa. When, unfortunately for them, armed bandits came into their home and kidnapped all six of them. So Nabiha, together with her five sisters and her father, making seven in total, were in their own residence and these armed bandits came in there and kidnapped them. They took them away and then they gave feedback to the family of these seven people that they needed a ransom of 60 million naira. Other than that, they are not going to hear any good news from them. Now, they give them a very short deadline. And even at the time of they coming in there to kidnap this family, an uncle of theirs tried intervening with the help of some police officers who were on hand, three police officers for that matter. But these bandits were so determined in their course that a battle ensued and in the process, they unalived this uncle of this family as well as two of the three police officers and they took the father and his six daughters away ready to hold them for ransom. So that was how the case of Nabiha started. Now the family were trying to raise the ransom even though Nigerian law allegedly prohibits having to pay the ransom to these kidnappers because the idea is it will encourage them to do more of such. But then again, some citizens in Nigeria are also skeptical about the ability of the security agencies to actually bring back their loved ones from these kidnappers safely. So it has become a tug of war where security agencies are expecting family members whose relatives have been kidnapped not to pay. But these family members are also not confident that the police will do a good job and bring back their kidnapped family members unharmed. So sometimes some of them secretly sort things out with these kidnappers and pay them and get their family members back. Kidnapping in Nigeria has been going on for quite some time now, but it looks like it's getting worse now because as the family were trying to raise the money and the deadline was approaching, the family realized that they couldn't be able to meet the deadline. So they reached out to the kidnappers, informing them that they have been able to raise 30 million naira out of the 60 million naira. So they were trying to negotiate an extension of a sort. But then these kidnappers told the family members that they should meet them at a specific location for some information. So, members of the family went to that particular location, but what they saw there broke their hearts because it turns out that the kidnappers were not there waiting for them, but instead, these kidnappers, just to show they are serious, had unfortunately unalived one of the six daughters of this father and unfortunately the daughter 
who was unalived was called Nabiha, and they had left her at the location they directed the family to meet them at. And in their twisted thinking, that was how they were showing that they were serious. So this has sparked that uh, this has sparked a serious outreach, where citizens are now crying out on social media, especially against the police and other security agencies, as well as the perpetrators of such a heinous crime, because it is highlighting the magnitude of the insecurity in the country as far as the citizens are concerned. Mind you, this family was in their own home, but these kidnappers were able to come there and do all this and to even fight off the police and unalive two of them in the process. That shows you how determined and serious these bandits are and it seems they have no fear of the police and it seems to an extent the police might not be able to fully combat them and get rid of them so the citizens are very very agitated at what has happened a hashtag has been started tagging the ghana the 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 nigerian police as well as the military to intervene and this hashtag is nabiha hashtag nabiha and her sisters i don't know why they didn't add the father i don't know but the twist is after they unalived Nabiha, they released her father to go back to the family and get the money ready. And they even increased the ransom. They even increased the ransom. And I just don't understand how such people are able to sleep at night. These are your fellow human beings. They've done nothing wrong. They are just going through their lives. And you decided that because you have some weapons, you barge into their home, you overpower them, take them captives, and then you demand for money before you release them. I don't know, but I feel that this is too much and the security agencies should be clamping down on this. Because at this point, who is safe? Who is safe at this point? And to think that they can do this to this young lady who is venturing into the prime of her life all because of all this greed they have for money. Now, the whole conversation is also sparkling fire on social media, like I said, where people are putting pressure on the Nigerian government to put measures in place to end all these things because it looks like it keeps getting prevalent and prevalent year in, year out, And it doesn't seem like there is any light in sight to get this ended. This is very unfortunate. And like I said at the beginning, in this week, the case of Nabiha is not the only one. There is another case involving another family having been kidnapped and also bandits requesting for $60 million and also unaliving one of the the daughters they took to show they are serious. In actual fact, they have done this and that family are a family of lawyers. I'm going to cover that story next. But share this. Let's be very careful out there. You might not even be in Nigeria, but wherever you find yourself, anticipate your security. Anticipate certain risks and put measures in place. I don't know how well people can protect themselves in such environments anymore because they were in their homes they were not walking by the roadside so the question is how is the country protecting its citizens i think that is where the premise of the whole thing should be because this family is not equipped to fight off the bandits when they came but ideally these bandits shouldn't be able to have the means the weapons and the access to civilians to deal with them the way they are dealing with them. I don't know, but I'm hoping that justice will be made as swift as possible by the security agencies and they will intervene and get the rest of all the family members back. It's so unfortunate. Just go to the comment section and type an RIP for Nabiha just so we commiserate with the families. What do you think is the solution for all this? What do you think is 
going wrong in Nigeria as far as these security issues are concerned. Are you experiencing similar things in whichever country you find yourself? Let's have a conversation. And if you have any security tips in mind, don't hesitate to share in the comment section. Until then, keep an eye out. Please and please and please stay safe out there. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.